but they pretend like they just have this neutral law and order thing. And it's not. They're lying to you. They're lying or they're mistaken about their own beliefs. Alabama Republican Congressperson Jerry Carl was recently in a Coke-funded, flat-earth, military coup, crypto-bro-boosting 1819 news because he said that the uh, <laughs> the headline is just the head. It's almost as if Jeff Poor is the one that wrote this headline. It's almost as if Jeff Poor is doing like a psyop here and wants Jerry Carl to to look bad. So let's just let's just read this headline from from 1819 news. US Representative Carl says hiring 87,000 additional IRS agents makes him quote a nervous wreck. Huh. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Quote, folks need to be worried. Uh, <laughs> Which folks? <laughs> I pay my taxes, buddy. I don't know what you're on about. I am not worried at all by more IRS agents being hired, actually. Um, but it's very interesting that you are. <laughs> Yeah, most of us don't have enough money or enough streams of income or assets for taxes to uh, to really be – for it to be that big of a concern that we're going to get audited. Yeah. Uh, and I've been audited before. It sucks. Uh, I'm sure it had nothing to do with the fact that I was a registered lobbyist in the state of Alabama at the time. Yeah. Um, but – Interesting, interesting uh, headline from from Mr. Carl there. I do have to wonder what he's up to financially. Yeah, why is he a nervous wreck? I mean, that is just what a self report. Yeah, what, yeah. what a self report. Um, and, and you know, I mean, the the why, why is it? Why is it that we're hiring? Uh, uh, that that you know, there's a need to hire extra IRS agent. It's because the IRS has been defunded. Uh, the IRS has been defunded systematically, and since 2010, since 2010, when the defunding began, uh, less and less audits have been conducted, and more and more of the audits that have been conducted have been on poorer and working class people like Adam and fewer and fewer because they have less resources, fewer and fewer of the audits have been on the wealthiest people, right. the people who are actually the IRS folks would actually get a good amount of money from. But why is it that they don't spend limited resources on folks like that? Because folks like that have fancy smancy lawyers. Adam does not have fancy smancy lawyers. Right. And so, um, <laughs> you know, even though these people are obviously cheating, and uh, what is it about a trillion dollars? Um, it's some inordinate it's about a trillion of, dollars that has not been collected yeah. uh, from the wealthy. It's some inordinate amount of money. Um, and 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 that's what's been happening. There's been fewer and fewer people being hired. Um, people are not being replaced at the IRS. And so uh, folks are able to cheat on their taxes because there's just not anybody back checking them there's just not anybody back checking them and so this is a you know this is a, something that we obviously need and this is and it, again it's something every time every time that enforcing the law would hurt bosses Every time that enforcing the law would hurt Republican donors, every time that enforcing the law would hurt the wealthiest people in the United States of America, those are the only times that law and order Republicans suddenly turn into liberal loosey goosey like ah uh, you know maybe maybe Defunders. we don't yeah maybe we don't need to have people hired to enforce the law maybe that's not something that that we need to have because in a certain sense you could say i mean in a certain sense of a word the IRS agents are law enforcement agents. That people at the Department of Labor are law enforcement agents. That people at OSHA are law enforcement agents. I mean literally they enforce the law. They are people tasked with enforcing the law. 
But because labor laws, because safety regulations, because tax law, some of it, a lot of it is written to the advantage of wealthy, but of wealthy people, but the parts that aren't, because those affect wealthy people, Republicans don't want those laws enforced. Instead, they want the laws enforced that are going to criminalize, not even civil penalties, that are going to criminalize poor and working class people like you and me, that are going to throw us in cages for smoking a blunt. That's the kind of laws that they want enforced. That, Like we talked to conservative lawyer Matt Clark putting somebody in prison for life for stealing a staple gun. Those are the laws that they care most about enforcing. Because it's not like a principle, it's not like a principle like, oh, I just care so much about the law being enforced. It's, it's obviously right. not that. Like, I don't have a principle about, you know, an, an, a, a total, um, an unbiased principle about neutral law enforcement. Like, oh, if it's a law, I think we should, uh, y- you know, resort as many resources as possible to enforcing it. I think some laws are stupid. And we shouldn't enforce them, and we should get rid of them. And I don't have, like, but they pretend like they just have this neutral law and order thing. And it's not. They're lying to you. They're lying or they're mistaken about their own beliefs. Right. Right. And by the way, just for the record, uh, from 2015 to 2019, audits plunged by 44%, according to the Treasury Inspector General. But interestingly enough... They fell by 33% for low to moderate income filers, but those who made more than a million dollars, it dropped by 75%. Hmm. So that's the thing. Um, if, if these new IRS agents are going to be looking at the corporations and the millionaires and billionaires who have been cheating on their taxes all these years, then by all means, go for it. Yeah. Uh, definitely do not want to see it. Uh, more scrutiny, more audits on working class folks, folks who are, you know, self-employed, who are trying to combine multiple streams of income, you know, gig workers. A lot of folks are, are misclassified as independent contractors. You know, so definitely don't want to see that burden fall on them because that's not who this should be directed at. It should be directed at the millionaires, the billionaires, and the corporations uh, who, unlike most of us, have been getting away with avoiding taxes. You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project, and you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm.